Hey, what's up guys? I want to thank Whatnot for sponsoring today's video. Whatnot is a totally safe place to buy Funko Pops, especially Grails. Each pop is inspected by their experts to ensure its condition and authenticity, so you can rest assured you aren't getting a fake or damaged pop. They also give away a major grail every week. Right now you have a chance to win the Metallic Toucan Sam. Just download the Whatnot app from the Play Store, the App Store, or visit whatnot.com. And now it's time to play America's favorite new game show, Hard, Hard to, to Please! please. Starring one of the world's pickiest collectors, Collecting Plastic! With today's contestant, Whatnot! Hard, Hard to, to please. please! The show where we try not to piss the sponsor off too much by critiquing one of their packages on camera! Now on most channels, people would just, you know, take a sponsorship deal, but not on Hard to Please. <laughs> when Whatnot contacted me, I checked out their app, I checked out their website, it looked pretty cool, but I told them, how can I endorse your service without experiencing your service? So they told me to pick out a grail, which I did, and that they would send it to me free of charge, so I wouldn't have to take their word for it when it comes to their service. So I decided to pick a grail that's a little older, a little rare, and a bit of a tall order overall. And as a little extra added challenge, the post office actually lost this package and it took them three days to find it and finally call me. So this poor package was at the mercy of those savages for a lot longer than it needed to be. But it seems to be okay from the outside they added this extra fragile handle with care sticker, which is nice. So yeah, it looks like if this pop went in, in mint condition, it should be coming out in mint condition as well. As you can see, this is Alan and baby Carlos, one of my personal grails. I love this movie. Inside of the box, you get this nice little card from Whatnot. Safest way to buy and sell Funkos. We hope you enjoy. Your purchase has been authenticated by a Whatnot expert. With some more information here on how to get free shipping on your next purchase. Pretty nice. But now it's time to take this bad boy out of the pop protector and take a close look because the thing about whatnot is that this guy on there was supposed to be mint condition. So let's see. And honestly, this is an older pop. I mean, you can see, you know, the, the type of sculpting pops had at this time. This is an older pop. This box is in mint condition. It's hard to find new pops in this kind of condition. Another thing I wanna add is that this pop was a little notorious for having very sloppy paint around the beard very very sloppy and this one is probably the best example of paint i've seen on this pop so not only is this mint condition i want to say that the paint app is also like 
almost perfect for this pop. It's about as good as it's going to get. So does it get a passing grade for me when it comes to coming through on their mint promise? Yes. And it came in a pop stack as well. And the guy assured me that this is pretty much their service. This isn't special for me or anything. I'll put this in there later. I want to damage it. This isn't special for me or anything. This is the service they provide. Now, what made me accept this sponsorship, because I've been offered plenty of sponsorships and a lot of the times I just don't take them because I think that either the service or the product is bogus. But what sold me on whatnot were its prices. Now, if you go to eBay and you look up Alan and Baby Carlos, Funko Pop. This is what you're gonna see. Every listing of this pop on eBay is ridiculously expensive. And believe me, they are not in mint condition. Now let's look at the sold. I'm not gonna click through each one, but go on eBay, look at the sold listings of Alan and Carlos, and anything around 200 to 250 or so, I would say is in good condition, not mint. Look at the pictures. I would say good condition. The ones that are, you know, up to three, 400, those are a little closer to mint. You have a few on there that sold loose and you have a few on there that sold for less than 200, but the box condition is completely mangled. Now I want to show you that because this Allen and baby Carlos was listed on their site for $190. Oh. Plus $7 shipping, which as you can see, came in a pop protector for this grail. Not sure if every pop comes like that. I'm imagining just the grails. Plus they use a nice sturdy box, packing peanuts. The pop was secure, but not super loose, not super tight. I mean, you can see for yourself. I would give the service a 10 out of 10 for buying a grail for sure. If you're in the market to buy a grail, definitely check them out first, compare some prices, and then think about how important it is for you to have something valuable be in perfect condition. I think this was an excellent test for them and they passed with flying colors. <laughs> That's been another episode of Hard to Please, where one man takes Funko Pop collecting as serious as curing cancer and overanalyzes everything. Hard, Hard to Please! please.